Hi everyone! It's Big Bang Experiment time again! Today, we're going to cause the extinction of dinosaur! <gasps> First, place a tablespoon of citric acid into the cup. Then fill the cup with water to make some citric acid solution. Finish off by adding a few drops of red food coloring and mix everything together with a spoon. Now, put one tablespoon of baking soda into the volcano and place the volcano on the tray. Now that we have everything ready, what do you think will happen if we mix them together? Use your dropper to pick up some citric acid solution. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, let's go! Woohoo! Wow, look at that! So many bubbles! Wow, all the lava coming out from the volcano. It's fizzing and bubbling. Let's pour all the citric acid solution into the volcano now. Let's go! Woohoo! There is an even bigger volcanic eruption! Oh no! The dinosaur touched the lava from the volcano and it is killed! Alright, let's move on to the meteor attack now. Gather all your materials. First, let's put some flour evenly on the tray. This represents the soil of the ground. Then, we're going to sift some cocoa powder on top of the flour. A thin layer of cocoa powder is good enough. Whoa, just like making cake! The cocoa powder represents the dust on the ground. Meteors come in different shapes and sizes. Here, we have a small heavy marble and a big light ping pong ball. Let's try dropping a ping pong ball onto the tray first. Hold the ping pong ball at a high position and drop it. Wow, let's check out the crater. The crater is the hole created by the meteor when it smashes the ground. Uh, it seems that the ping pong ball only made a small crater. Alright, let's try out the marble now. Hmm, as the marble is so small, I wonder can it even make a crater? Let's try it out. Hold the marble at a high position and drop it. Woohoo! The marble made a huge crater and splashes the soil everywhere. If you have more marbles, you can even drop them all at the same time to create a meteor shower. Wow, look! The dinosaur got hit by the meteors and ash. Step 4. Observe and analyze. In the volcano experiment, the super hot lava killed the dinosaurs. In the past, the volcanic eruption also formed ash clouds, covering the sky and causing all the dinosaurs to freeze to death. In the meteor experiment, the dinosaurs were either hit by the meteors or covered in soil. So we believe the dinosaurs might be killed from the direct impact of the meteors or starved to death and their source of food were destroyed. Check out your workbook for more fun experiments and I'll see you in our next adventure. Bye bye! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!